Hi, and welcome to Math with Bill. My name's Bill, and this is Math. In this video, we're looking at matrix math, and more specifically, addition and subtraction within matrix math. So, uh, to add or subtract two different matrices, and again, a matrix is this rectangular arrangement of numbers in rows and columns. Um, for us to be able to add or subtract two matrices together, there are two things that we really need to do. Number one, we need to verify that we have the same dimension. Okay, so we're working with two matrices over here, matrix A and matrix B. Again, the dimension is us telling ourselves how many rows do we have and how many columns do we have for any given matrix. So, over here, I'm going to make a dimension column here. And for matrix A, we have two rows. Again, rows are those horizontal lines. So we have the 2, 3, 5 line and the 1, 2, 6 line. Those are our two rows. So we have a dimension of 2 by, and now we count the columns, Columns, again, are our vertical lines that go across. And we have the 2, 1, the 3, 2, and the 5, 6. So we have three columns, or a dimension of 2 by 3. If this dimension is 2 by 3, let's go down and look at the B. Again, rows, horizontally, we have the 4, 1, 2 row, and the 6, 3, 1 row. So again, we have two rows, and we have three the, six, the 4, 6, the 1, 3, the negative 2, 1 columns. So, again, this is a 2 by 3. Because our dimensions are exactly the same, then we can go ahead and add or subtract. Because the second piece of adding or subtracting is to add or subtract, whichever is appropriate, corresponding corresponding entries. And again, an entry is any one of our specific locations. So let's look at A plus B. The A plus B matrix is going to be this. It's going to be our A matrix. 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, 6 plus the B matrix. So again, here's your A matrix. Here's the B matrix. 4, 1, negative 2. 6, 3, 1. So this is how we would see these. And now we're just going to add the first entry, row 1, column 1, with the first entry over here, row 1, column 1. So the 2 plus the 4 is going to give me a 6. And the 3 plus a 1 will give me a 4. And 5 plus a negative 2 will give me positive 3. 1 plus 6 gives me 7, 2 plus 3 gives me 5, and 6 plus 1 gives me a 7 again. So here, what we'll notice is that in our solution matrix, or our sum matrix of A plus B, we end up with the same dimension, still a 2 by 3 matrix, and these are all the results of adding our corresponding entries. So, this is the A plus B matrix. This is math. My name's Bill. Thanks for watching.